Full concentration. Now yeah, let's talk a little extreme today again. Welcome to the city of Chicago. You can see it obviously to the right of us. And, and we're actually approaching an old Chicago airport. It is literally ahead as you can clearly tell too. Of course, we're back at Chicago Meigs Airport. One of the most interesting airports that there have ever been. I mean, just look at it. I mean, just look at our approach here too. I mean, just look at this tower that we're about to crash into. Before we further talk about this interesting Chicago Meigs Airport, let's land this little TBM 930 here, which shouldn't be that much of an if I mean, this is a turbo prop plane. Let's hope that this works. All right, T. And there's a car crossing the runway. Oh, Jesus, that's been closed. Okay, I'm <clears throat> great. Let's go ahead and stop. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm a little confusion now, but that doesn't matter. We'll come back to Swiss as everyone. We're today in Chicago, and this is actually Chicago Makes Airport, which is a typical city airport you can find, for example, in London with London City, or maybe even Kai Tak in Hong Kong. But Kai Tak actually was closed down because of it being in the middle of the city, and that's really not a good idea sometimes. And so is Chicago Makes. Yes, since 2003, this airport does not exist anymore. It's more or less a park. In fact, this airport isn't even a thing anymore in the new flight simulator 2020 you have to actually download an add-on for it well actually i had to buy it for 13 bucks off the store let's maybe do a little review on that too yep this is a closed down airport closed down in 2003 the closed downing story was very interesting to basically cut this all short the chicago mayor let me just read through wikipedia by the way he uh, bulldozed the runway overnight making this airport unusable which was basically a big problem as you can see it violated the faa regulations of course too. The mayor just didn't want the airport to be there anymore and he didn't want to have any debate on its closing down properly so he literally pretty much illegally broke the airport which was again a bit of an issue because actually there were some planes on the airport ramp at the time. So literally they had to take off the planes from this taxiway here in order to get them off of the airport. How bad of a mayor can you be to just destroy one of your airports? I mean I, I do understand the concern of why this airport had to close down or why would you want the airport to close. I mean, look at how close it is to the city. But still, this is not cool. Come on. Well, that's pretty much all of the history lessons that we have to do. This was built on an artificial island. You know, just like Kai Tak or Genoa Airport or probably even London City. It doesn't really matter. Let's fly some big planes here because this runway is not necessarily long. In fact, it is quite short. 3,900 feet. That is barely a thousand meters. Um, we will run into some issues with them. Big planes. Of course, we're going to fly some big planes here anyway. And we just tried this TBM 930. An airliner that I'm pretty sure that can fly here is for example, the CRJ, CRJ 700, you know, we gotta go a little crazy now. Now, actually, there was some airliner service indeed in the history of mm. Chicago makes. These are, those are all airlines that we don't ever see anymore. All these airlines that actually flew here are dead now. Ozark Airlines wasn't, uh, it's dead. Transit Airlines, all of these are dead. Jesus Christ. So they flew some small planes here, like the Hawker Siddeley, you know, some regional turboprop airliners. So we're kind of going against the rules here with this uh, CRJ-700. Exactly our goal. Oh, we're dying. I mean, I'm not quite sure. The CRJ does actually need a runway. Duh, it's a plane. It actually does seat 70 people, too. So I'm just gonna try to do my best, I guess. <laughs> All right, lovely Chicago makes. Oh, damn. And it does look very beautiful to fly into this airport, doesn't it? But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little loud in the city down there when we... Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, little city. Okay, let's align on those vasy lights that we have down here. Something we don't really see anymore. And come in for a landing, am I right? Alright. Looking good. Pretty much on point of the start of the runway. Just touching down nicely. Let's go ahead and reverse. And uh, here we go. Landing the CRJ at Chicago Makes Airport. And we are kind of coming to a stop. Please. Okay, we have a bit of runway left, and I'm not really comfortable with all these cars and trucks crossing the runway the whole time. What the hell? <laughs> Great. But okay, but that has uh, worked. So we shall move on. Yep. All right, you know what? Let's just actually try this A320 as well. Now, this plane is now quite a bit bigger now than the CRJ. This is uh, very much stupid. This will be probably at the edge of somewhat working. Great. Yeah, but this is just flight simulator fun with Swiss Air 1. Let's try to somewhat come in for a landing and do this nicely and somewhat stop too. All right, come on. All right, a touchdown. Let's go ahead and stop this plane now. Fall into the brakes, fall into the reverse thrust. Let's see if we can do this. Please, 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 please. Oh, damn. This is not looking good. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that was very close to death, 
But we did stop after all that that had has gone quite well. We're having some weird FPS bugs. I mean, I'm playing this on an RTX 3080. What the hell is wrong with you, computer? See, that has actually been a very nice touchdown here. Touched on on point off the runway. If we had touched down uh, a little well later, then it probably wouldn't have worked. This is good. But I mean, after all, this, this stopped. What is really nice here is this little harbor with all these boats here too, isn't it? It's it's, it's quite beautiful, this place. Can imagine definitely that that was some fun flying here. And there was another car crossing that damn runway. Why the hell? Okay, what do we move on with now? I mean, <laughs> bigger would be the A330. So let's try the A330. Let's go all Airbus. Now, by the way, if anyone was wondering, I've never showed this. This is what the airport looked like after it was well demolished. Hmm, not particularly usable, right? Oh, what a shame. I mean, after all, this was used for airliner service. Like, come on, you cannot just say break it. All right, A330, what are our chances of actually doing a successful landing? Okay, I mean, <laughs> just looking at this approach here, I do kind of understand the safety concerns of the mayor of Chicago. I mean, it's very easy to crash into a town. I mean, look at it, just how close we were just flying by this thing. Ah, uh, you know, especially after 9-11, of course, which happened like only two years before the airport was scrapped. I can imagine there was a bit of tension there. But let's come in for a landing, see if this is gonna work. Um, now, what am I gonna do now? Actually, we're approaching again from the other side of the runway. I'm gonna try to actually already touch it on the displaced threshold. Something we're not actually supposed to or allowed to do. Um, let's just do this. I need to use the whole runway here. Okay, that's been a landing. Let's go ahead and stop. See if this is gonna at all work. I don't want to lose another plane. Okay, using a little bit of braking action and a little bit of rudder power. Wait, are we stopping faster than the A320? Yes, we are. We just stopped in no time. That is a little strange. Maybe, yeah, this is not particularly a realistic model, but this was a sure nice landing. No worries at all. Great. Well then, is it a stupid idea to try the 747-8? Just try my best here. All right, 747. I mean, maybe we could use the Chicago Meeks Airport as like the main airport of Chicago. You know, replacing Chicago O'Hare or Midway or something. We don't need any of these anymore. It's time for Chicago Meeks. <laughs> So dumb. All right, let's not strike our right wing into that tower over there. That would be a great thing. And let's come in for a landing here. Full concentration. Uh, no. Oh, no. I don't like the 747. Just stop, please. Could you stop? Maybe this is going to work. Uh, great. 747 is the... Stopped. That's good. So yeah, guys, this is Chicago makes for ya. Just a regular landing there, that, uh, and another car that we crashed into. Great. And uh, well, it's sad it's gone, but you know I do understand why it's gone. Still sad it's gone though. What am I saying? <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. To all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Old Man the Human, DJ Straw, Dilo, Tyler Park, In from Osk, Garkum, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Will. Housing, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime, but John, No to You, no, Larry Islama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Science, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.